This presentation is called, What is an Iroquois Kin Terminology? And in this presentation, we're going to answer three questions. First, what is an Iroquois Kin Terminology? In relation to that, how is an Iroquois kin terminology related to distinctions between cross and parallel siblings and cross and parallel cousins? And lastly, how is an Iroquois kin terminology related to descent and marriage systems? So the key to an Iroquois kin terminology are the distinctions among cousins. And we've said that we have four kinds of cousins. We have cousins on the father's side that we call patrilateral cousins, and cousins on the mother's side that we call matrilateral cousins. We can further distinguish between cross and parallel cousins, and this distinction is critical to understanding an Iroquois kin terminology. So a cross cousin, for example, on the mother's side, those are the offspring of the mother's brother's children. The cross occurs in gender between mother and her brother. A parallel cousin, for example, on the father's side, would be the father's brother's children. Father and his brother are the same gender, and so we speak of them as parallel siblings. So father's sister's children are cross cousins. Father's brother's children are parallel cousins. And that's because father's sister is his cross sibling and father's brother is father's parallel sibling. Similarly, mother's brother is her cross sibling and that means that mother's brother's children are cross cousins to ego. And mother's sister is her parallel sibling because they're the same gender which means that mother's sister's children are the matrilateral parallel cousins. So these cousin distinctions are critical to understanding an Iroquois kin terminology. So let's explore this. And first we're going to give Ego a brother and a sister. So let's now take Ego with his mother and father and brother and sister. And because I don't have enough room to look at both sides, we're just going to look at mother's side, at the matrilateral side. So we're going to give mother a sister. And that's her parallel sibling. And in, in an Iroquois kin terminology, mother's sister is also called mother. So the same kin term is applied to mother and to mother's sister. They're both called mother. So this is the first thing to note. The parallel siblings are called by the same term as the parent. Now let's give mother's sister some offspring and we're going to give her a son and a daughter. But from the perspective of Ego, who calls mother sister's mother, he's going to call mother sister's children, his matrilateral parallel cousins, brother and sister. So the parallel cousins are called by sibling terms. And the term for the parent is applied to the par parallel siblings of the parent. And these are the keys to an Iroquois kin terminology. Now let's uh, say, well, what about the cross cousins? 
So we'll give mother a brother out here. And that will be her cross sibling. And we're just going to throw the word uncle on there because it's familiar to us. But that cross sibling of mother, the mother's brother, is called by a term different than the term applied to ego's father. So he is not called father. And similarly, his offspring are not called brother and sister. We could just say that they're called cousins. So cross siblings of the parent and cross cousins are distinguished from the parallel siblings of the parents and the parallel cousins. And that cross parallel distinction is critical to what's called an Iroquois kin terminology. Parallel cousins are your siblings. Your cross cousins are not your siblings. So here's a standard diagram of an Iroquois kin terminology showing both sides of the family. This is from the Manitoba kin tutorial. So on this standard diagram, only one marriage is shown, although we can assume marriages are there uh, for the siblings of mother and father. And similarly, one sibling of each gender is shown, and that's simply to allow us to make uh, the, nest, the key terminological distinctions. So let's focus on the parents' generation and that cross-parallel distinction. So we want to mark that distinction between the parallel siblings of our parents and their cross-siblings. And the parental parallel siblings are all called mother or father. So mother and her sister, however many sisters she might have, are all called mother. And father and his brothers are all called father. And that then carries down to ego's generation, where parallel cousins are called brother and sister. So sibling terms embrace parallel cousins, and parental terms embrace the parallel siblings of the parents. And that uh, is uh, Iroquois terminology. And again, this doesn't extend to the cross siblings of Eagle's parents. We'll just throw on uncle and aunt to show that they're not called by the same term. And similarly, the cross cousins are not considered to be siblings. So the parents cross siblings are not called by parental terms and the cross cousins are not called by sibling terms. So that's an Iroquois kin terminology. Now in studies in Native North America, Iroquois terminologies are strongly associated with unilineal descent, and that's both patrilineal descent and matrilineal descent. And in that area of the world, social anthropologists tend to see a strong relationship between Iroquois terminologies and systems of ancestry. However, in Aboriginal Australia, what are called Carriera terminologies are associated with bilateral cross-cousin marriage. And what's important to us is that at the level of first cousins, uh, these terminologies are identical. So in Australia, the pattern that we've called an Iroquois terminology is called a Carriera terminology. They're the same pattern of terms. In one tradition of social anthropology, they're strongly related with unilineal descent. In other traditions, they're strongly related to bilateral cross-cousin marriage. And that's not just the arbitrary decision of the social anthropologists, but it's differences in the kinship systems in those two parts of the world. In South America, there's also an association between Iroquois type systems and bilateral cross-cousin marriage. Thank you for listening.